run through, um, we've had several discussions about uh, what we're actually going to prepare as a plan to promote the uh, wastewater treatment uh, fund bond, uh, 13.8 million, uh, the number of steps that we're going to take. Uh, I should also point out that Wednesday night, uh, Tim's going to attend the, Tim and us, uh, we're going to attend the planning board meeting and we're going to run through the presentation uh, that was done previously before this board uh, presenting the, what is the contents of the facility plan. So there'll be uh, other uh, opportunities, if you will, to, for the public to uh, see this and to ask questions. Um, with respect to any of the other technical comments that uh, the previous uh, speakers had, uh, some of those questions would be best if they were put in writing, and then we can answer those directly. Uh, Departmental-wise, I would like to point out that uh, uh, next Monday is Christmas. Uh, we're going to go to a shifted uh, solid waste collection. Uh, Monday's rule will be Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday accordingly. Uh, the transfer station normally closed will actually be open for the uh, on Tuesday. And the same thing will occur the following week when it's New Year's uh, Day. Uh, we will not be collecting. Uh, the collection will be shifted uh, one day. And again, the transfer station will be open. Um, and the Christmas tree collection won't start until the first full week of January. But uh, just hope to get that out there. Uh, wise. And with that... Tim looks like he's ready. I'll turn it over to Mr. Vadney. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having us in again, and Merry Christmas. So what we're here for today is to get input from the board on what sort of public outreach you'd like us and the DPW staff to engage in in terms of an inf information campaign to help discuss some of the improvements and some of the drivers for them at the treatment plant. So we've come up with this outline really to discuss and just really to solicit and kind of get feedback and input on how, how you would suggest or what your, your goals or desires are for this process. So can anyone, everyone see that all right up there? That's about it. Uh, a little tough to read, but basically public outreach goals inform the public, general wastewater process descri description, talk about why the wastewater treatment plan is obviously important to the town and some of the consequences of failure talk about the facility at the plant as it is right now, and then the importance of asset renewal. So that's kind of the goals of the outreach, is to accomplish those things. And a few of the ways we proposed, or we'd suggest to go about that, again, looking for your input, uh, a brochure that can go in in the mailings, uh, the social media town website, uh, town hall, library DPW, hard copies of that brochure, and a town-wide mailer with the bills. So... The Board of Selection selection presentation that I gave previously, we could put that on Channel 22, or I'm doing a very similar presentation for the Planning Board on Wednesday night. That's something that if people were interested, they could tune into. Let's see, town uh, link the link the video on the website. So, and also, in, not really sure how far to we, we, the board would like us to go with this, but you know, we for this kind of thing previously we've done educational videos, like a 10-minute video with some video of stuff at the plant with some voiceover of what the equipment is and what the need is and what needs to get replaced. Uh, we at the last meeting I had the pleasure of being with in front of the board for. We talked about doing some tours of the plant. We can set up for, you know, where you sign up ahead of time, obviously, and and just kind of have some preordained times where we go and I can give a tour and the the mic uh, Mike and Mike at the plant can help as well. So that's kind of what we were thinking. The mailer, put the link the videos on the website, maybe do a, a special video with some key pieces of equipment and some Q&A sessions and maybe some tours of the plant. But again, if the board has other ideas or, or would like to adjust these in any way, we're here for your input on the matter and what you think is the right way to come at it. With respect to number th uh, three, we've already begun the process of uh, um, Bill Lowney within our facility uh, is, uh, works here with the Channel 22 staff. Um, he's uh, already borrowed the camera. We've taken a number of short clips. And this is something that Wright Pierce has actually done before. Um, I forget the project that you mentioned. It was the secondary, uh, the, the last big tank that got built at the plant was the, one of the, the third secondary clarifier. And that had failed for two years prior. And then we did uh, same thing, uh, Channel 22 kind of recording, 
I believe Bill Brown uh, was the project manager at the time, and he spoke at the deliberative session, and just kind of exactly what we're talking about now, which is just educating people about the need. And then, the, obviously, the voters have the final say. And the, at the bottom of it, and I know you've already mentioned, this is our proposed timeline of, of when we want to get these things out and done by, and, and uh, essentially what we're agreeing to that we're going to stick with as far as, if you will, promoting this particular warrant article. Questions for the board? Regina. Well, yeah, I mean, it looks really good. But I do have a question on, so initiate and implement would be January 4th, which makes sense after the holidays. Right. But then we have deliberative session, like, pretty much one month later. So as far as the tours go, would we be able to, because I know before we said February, but if we wait till February. Oh, you're right. It's yeah. not going to happen late. before the deliberative session. We're staffed so. every Saturday morning. Okay. Um, the lab's open. Um, what we would like people to call ahead because, to be honest with you, it is a high-risk environment. There's a number of trip hazards. So people would have to be escorted through. Um, if I know that people want to do this, either calling through the manager's office or calling Public Works directly, uh, we can set those up. Um, we're definitely available every single Saturday from now till till March when we vote. And... Um, we can have any number of people <coughs> tour, tour through the facility. Uh, and I also have to, and I know I made this comment before, uh, especially in the head works, uh, if you're an asthmatic, it's not a place to be. But we do have uh, the plant staff actually carry air meters with them because we are dealing with sulfur gas. And uh, so we'd, we'd warn people. And that's, and I think uh, liability risk-wise, insurance company-wise, this is what we would want to do. But the plant is is open. And we can give you the nickel tour, the five-minute tour, or we can give you a, a one-hour tour. But, uh, no, definitely can do it. And I think what's important to remember here when you're looking at this is the big picture. When we talk about wanting to get out the word about what is the 13880 that we're asking for, what, it's, what is its crucial need, what happens if it doesn't happen, and having the brochure developed educates those that don't even understand completely how the wastewater treatment plant process works. I know there's a lot of comments today, you know, about the aeration and this and what train for most people, and those most people are our voters as well. That goes up and over their head. So it's not just the fine details, but the big picture as well, that our goal is to make everybody understand and make them understand, and everybody learns differently. For some, it may be a tour at the plant. That may not be it for others. It may be reading the report that's on the website. For some, it may be the pictures with the voiceover. For some, it may be a brochure that's in front of them that they can process the process train and go, this is why it's important. There's 12 things that we're asking for in this 13880. It's these 12 things that relate to safety, ventilation. When we say uh, the overall demand or the flow that can come to our plant, it's not so much that it's a quantity thing, but it's more about um, the growth throughout town. What is our capability of processing? It's not quantity, it's capability. So when you hear people talk aeration and you hear people talk ventilation and headworks and what are the things that we need to do that make us be able to match up the growth we have, whether through residential, through industrial, through our new hotels, through just standard beach growth, our beach population. Keep in mind that some of this is growth and some of it is an industry that we support here in town. Um, so when you put all these things together and say initiate and implement, uh, implement by January 4th, that's us and our staff that supports us getting this done and having it up for that full month prior to deliberative session. And, and that includes a public outreach and answer session. And that is for the people who want technical questions answered. Um, it's not necessarily a place for debate. Our engineers have done the studies, and these are our recommendations, and I think that that's very important. Um, they're highly qualified professionals that have made these recommendations, uh, but we want to outreach, and we want people to understand. So hopefully it gives a big picture that it is for everybody to understand what the 13880 is for. Rusty? My only suggestion is you make maybe two or three five-minute videos instead of one ten-minute video. Mm -hmm. Pe people more likely to get watched. You, it's more likely to get watched, and people may want to watch one part of it, and not the other. So, Wonderful. Uh, yeah, you just do it that way. Working with some of the social media stuff that I do, 
that three to five minutes is, is what you want to hit. And I, that's something that we had talked about, and I think that that makes a, yeah. a great way of looking at the different aspects. Because all of us have been down there. We've seen this. We know that some of that stuff's been there for 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Yeah. We see what goes on down there. A lot of people don't have the time to go down and look at it. But if you can show them in little spurts, little spurts, let them know, and, and I think that'll help out a lot. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And just for the record, uh, the warrant article and the price on this verbally is what that you're advancing? Thirteen million eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars for the components that are mentioned in the phase one uh, projects to be completed that are part of the facility study that was completed this year. Thank you. I have no more questions. Thank you. Very well done. Yeah, I think you've got a good plan there. I think you should reach out to different groups, too, different organizations to go to speak to, like, the Rotary Club, the Lions Club, et cetera. But I think also, you know, you have to really explain that plan to people. I mean, you've had engineers do it, and you've done it, and you're the professionals, but why did the regulations change? Mm -hmm. You know, why were they one thing, and then all of a sudden they changed for another thing? And why now do we need to, you know, change the method that we're using to do that? Yep. So I, th I think that's all very important that... You don't want to get, you know, you don't have to be totally technical, but, but you have to explain to people. And if you have one method of treating it and then an alternative method of treating it, why? Why, why do you have two different ways there? And what's the specific way that we should be going after it? I think that's really important. So I think it's important that we, you know, get that information out to people and as soon as possible with very, with speci very specific information. That, that, that would be my... You know, in trying to answer the questions that people give us. Yeah. Yes. That sounds good. Uh, the one question we did want to ask, since we do want to just move forward with implementation using this plan, is if the board had any interest in being in any part of the videos um, or if we should just keep moving forward. We I, I think we have to move forward. My own opinion is we have to move forward. We have to move fo forward quickly, and we have to get questions answered for people and get as much information out there as we can, specifically about the report. Anybody else? No, I'm sorry. What was the question you were asking about the Just board? if the board members wanted to be part of any of the videos we're going to create. Um, if not, we'll roll them out and make sure, um, you know, everybody has a chance to see them. And we'll get them implemented on websites, Facebook, the social media. The you see, We just wanted to give you that opportunity in case that's something you wanted to do. No, I, I agree with Jim. I think it should get out there as soon as okay. possible. And then, like I said, if you have the brochures and the whatever, the educational videos, once those get out on social media, I'll do my best to share it as much as possible. And then this way, too, like you said, if that doesn't suffice some people, then they can if they decide okay. go on the tour, right? Perfect. That would be how it would work, right? <coughs> yep. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So with that, and I'm only doing this because I saw the agenda earlier, um, I believe we still need to address the Warren article itself. Okay. Uh, that's coming to you. Yep. Hey, Fred, is it in everybody's packets? Well, I don't know if everybody's got it or not. But do you want to address it at this moment? Or? <clears throat> you can certainly read it so that people understand what it is. But um, with your permission, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $13,880,000 for the purposes of constructing the necessary upgrades and making improvements to the wastewater treatment plant as follows. Headworks upgrades, aeration tank upgrades, primary clarifier number one upgrade, gravity thickener number one upgrade, plant water system upgrade, primary sludge pump upgrade, thickened sludge transfer pump replacement, Polymer system upgrade, septage handling improvements, operations building improvements, maintenance garage improvements, and SCADA system improvements. Such sum to be raised by the issuance of municipal bonds and notes for a period not to exceed 30 years under in accordance with the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33. And to authorize the Board of Selectmen of the Town Treasurer to issue and negotiate such bonds or notes and to determine the rate of interest thereon in all in accordance with the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, contract for, accept, and expend any federal, state, or other available funds towards the project in accordance with the terms and conditions under which they are received, and to borrow in anticipation of the receipt of such funds and or the issuance of such bonds or notes as provided by the Municipal Finance Act, RSA 33, 
and to authorize the participation in the state revolving fund RS, SRF RSA 486-14 established for the purpose and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, accept, and expend such monies as they become available from the federal and state governments and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to implement such cost-effective solutions as are presented in the future that may that they deem to be in the best interest of the town that may result in a lesser amount of expenditure than is authorized by this warrant article and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to take any and all actions necessary to carry out the project in the best interest of the town of Hampton. Three-fifths of vote required. Multiple. I'll, I'll make the motion that we recommend this warrant article for the 18 ballot. Second. Okay. And uh, I would just like any discussion. No. I would just like to say that all of those, that you really have to answer all those questions in that warrant article. Right. If we're going to get it passed, all those questions have to be answered very detailed and very explicitly so that people understand what we're talking about. All right, all in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. 4-0. Uh, it carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.